The issue of internally displaced persons has been a thorn in the government's flesh for a while now, with efforts to resettle the IDPs becoming more and more complicated as new and unaccounted for IDPs emerge. Since the resettlement program kicked off in 2009, the government has successively resettled 8,000 IDPs with another 8,000 still living in camps. Now the government plans to resettle the remaining IDPs before end of September, with each household getting a cash payment of 400,000 shillings out of the 3.3 billion shillings set aside for the exercise. During the month of the September, we expect to have opened all the bank accounts and put the money in all the accounts of the IDPs. And before they leave, they will ascertain that that money is in the account and the bank will have a conversation with them on how they can access the money if they want to. According to Devolution Cabinet Secretary Anwe Guru, the government focuses on self-resettlement, unlike before when it used to buy land for the IDPs. What we are doing is not limiting them and choosing for them their destinations, but giving them the opportunity to, of choice. Some also want to just get engaged in uh, business. So instead of us insisting that they go and settle in a certain area which they don't want, and they would prefer to be empowered to do business, then they will be able to use their resources as they please. Following the new development, IDP camps in Eldoret, Maimahio, and Camp Kempu in Mao Forest will be closed this Saturday. This latest development comes amidst threats from a section of IDPs in Gilgil to stage a protest march to the deputy president's office next week, claiming they have been left out of the beneficiaries list. Wikiwa moja ikipita kama hata hawata kuwa wanatupatia musimamo wetu, tutafanya peaceful demonstration. Na tutatoka hapa, tutaenda baka Nairobi, na tutaenda kwa ofisi ya deputy president. Tutaka hapo, mpaka tutoke na soruisho yetu ya muisho. The group claims majority of those who have been lined up to receive the 400,000 payout are not genuine IDPs. Samson Kitavi, Channel One, News Hour.